Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know uh, we haven't been posting a lot of videos. Um, it's because we, we got a facility and there's a lot going on. Uh, but I just want to get this uh, video out of the way. A lot of people have been asking how Goliath beetles pupation work. Since we have one uh, larvae that is ready to pupate, uh, I just want to demonstrate to everyone how this process works. So your larvae stops eating right now, you suspect that it's ready to pupate. So here's what uh, a larvae that's ready to pupate will look like. So they're going to look a little skinnier than usual. They're going to turn uh, more yellow, like especially on the side. And more importantly, they're going to be more aggressive and agitated. They will not hesitate to attack you. Yeah, this one is not really showing that, but for the process, you need the pupation substrate, a empty plastic container that is about 80 ounce, 80 ounce to 120 ounce. It really depends on the size of your larvae. And of course, a weight scale. First step, it is important for you to keep track of the weight of your larvae here from September 22nd. The larvae's weight is 72 grams. It increased to 74 grams on October 1st, and then on October 17, it stays the same at around 74 grams. On November 5th, the larvae gains two grams of weight that put him to 76 grams. So let's see how much he weighs today. He actually weighs about 70 grams. And as you can see, he's moving a lot because he's ready to pupate. When they're ready to pupate, they usually stay on top of the substrate. So today, the weight is 70 grams. He went from 76 grams to 70 grams. So I would say that's about 8% weight loss. Um, the best measure to tell whether or not they're ready to pupate is by looking at the weight. So if you're losing like more than 5% weight in a single day, then they're definitely ready. However, they can lose less than that. Um, then you just have to look at other factors as well. All right, once you make sure your larvae is ready to pupate, take your larvae out, uh, kind of just give it a nice bath. You want to clean off the dirt. This is actually a larvae of the um, Goliath orientalis. They're not the largest Goliath beetle. So this one just weighs about 71 grams. This is a male because it has a little black dot right here, located uh, next to my uh, left hand's thumb. Once you finish cleaning your larvae, you are ready to put it in the pupation substrate. All right, height is always more important. So you got to make sure uh, you make them feel like it's deep because in the wild, they usually dig down the uh, substrate and uh, make pupa cells there. Here's how you would do it. You would pour the, the pupation substrate inside and make sure they're at the right uh, moisture level for the unopened bags. If your bag is not open, then the moisture level generally is good. Always double check. This one is actually good as well. Might be a little dry. Uh, the key factor here is the stickiness. So you should be able to grab a bunch of that, kind of like rub it, and then it's gonna like form into clay. I'm just going to add a little bit moisture just to be safe. Okay, after you add some moisture, you just keep adding it. Keep adding more to patient substrate. Okay, so here's the part. It's best if you can make sure the bottom part of the substrate is pressed down. You want to make sure um, that you make the larvae feel like it's, uh, it's deep down there. So just do it like that. You can do it like that for the bottom 50%. All right, bottom 50% or close to 50%. Always make sure it's moist enough. And then the top 50% you can just fill up with the loose substrate. So it's actually very important for you to um, fill the substrate up 100%. So again, it makes them feel like um, they're at a uh, deep level of the substrate. You can fill the remaining with a flake soil. That's totally fine, even though they're not gonna use that to uh, pupate. 
fill up to the top and then it is important for you to close the lid again to make them feel like it's deep and then depending on the species you wait anywhere from four months to eight months so this is a Goliath or Intellis. You might want to wait like eight months before actually opening this one. Some people actually do take out the pupa cells, but I wouldn't recommend that because that would dry out the pupa cell too fast. Uh, that could really kill your grub. Just like that. And always give it some moisture if it becomes too dry. So you just want to open the lid and then spray a little bit. Just a little bit is fine. And provide some ventilation like, like this one. Use a mesh to prevent any uh, insects or like pests from coming in. All right, I think that's uh, pretty much it.